So right now I'm working on my galley cabinets, and this is the layout I'm going with. You can see the dimensions, everything here. Uh, we got my outlets on the side, and then a couple cabinets and drawers, and then one big drawer here, and then of course my fridge and uh, cooler goes down here in the bottom. And so this is what it looks like. This is one of my galley cabinets. Uh, this is where the drawer will go, and then this is the actual cabinet. Um, nothing special on it, just regular pocket hole joinery. Um, I did put uh, a little dado for a lip right here so I can put, uh, when this goes in, like so, this will, have a, this will have a little shelf up the top so I can reach on the top and put some stuff up there. So that's what I'm working on, and I will keep on moving on. I've started framing the side of the galley cabinets that's going to have my 12 volt and USB outlet, my 110 outlet, and my light switches. Um, so what I've done here is I've just taken a Forstner bit, and these will go in here like this. And then for my 110, it's actually a, uh, a square outlet. So what I'm doing was taking this Forstner bit, drilling me holes, and then I'm going to come through here with a jigsaw and make that square. And the same goes for my uh, light switches and everything. So I will get this done, and then I'll start framing these together. All right, I'm back to working on my countertop, and my initial plan was to take some aluminum strips for my edging of my countertop and then my partitions that go down here. But I decided I didn't like that look, and so I'm going to put this framing face on here, uh, like so. And when I go to do that, uh, that would make my gusset, uh, have to, I'd have to cut the gusset too far back out this way. So I decided to put this on here, cut this, this back to that depth, that way um, that closed my hatch will close nice. Um, what I've done is I've just taken my router with a bearing bit and just putting this straight edge on there and cutting it off. So hopefully that'll look a little bit better when that's framed up. I've completed one of the slides for my coolers here. It just comes out like this, and this is a full extension slide. And then let me pull this out and I'll show you show you how I made it. All right, so. I just put pocket hole screws on this three quarter inch piece and made it flush with my rails and then I just put a little bit bigger uh, like a two inch piece of maple here on the front. I still got a little bit of sanding that I need to do on this um, but also for like the handle of the cooler what I can do here is on this lip is I can put um, screw in a, a strap like a luggage strap or something like that and bring it up through and down on this side here and that'll secure the cooler to this slide. So I'm working on the other one and I'll show you some more things as we go along here. I'm installing my slides and when I have my drawer shut I want it to be flush with the framing of this right here. So what I what you do on these is then you make this your rail, your slide flush with this board. And then also what I did on this other one over here is I came with this square and I put it on here and I just put it across and then I made my mark over here. But somehow, I don't know if this board maybe just wasn't square or, or something, I was off by about an eighth of an inch. So what I ended up doing, um, I had to take that slide off and correct it because uh, it had me off, it had me a little off a little bit there when I closed the drawer. I decided just to measure from here back and then take that same distance from here back. That way I knew I was exactly square with this in case for some reason the cut of this board was a little bit off because I had to cut this down. So that's where I'm at and I will get these done here. I have both of my rails attached to my slides here and now I need to cut out a piece of three quarter inch plywood that goes from here to here to the back and then I will pock a hole, screw those in. I'm in the process of making my drawers for my galley and I looked on YouTube and found another video that shows how to make drawers with pocket holes and I'll put that link in the description below. Uh, so right now I've got my second one I'm working on and I haven't made the bottom for it yet. Um, but on, on my bottoms, I, I made them a little bit different. Uh, I decided to go ahead and pocket screw the bottoms in. Uh, just cut out the inside of this, right, the inside of the drawer. And then I just pocket hole them in the bottom like that. And now those will ride in there. Just like that. Just thought I'd show you real quick where I'm at on my galley cabinets. I haven't secured anything down. This is just a dry fitting. So I've got my uh, my drawers in, and then now I'm, I'm also getting uh, my starting to get my cabinetry in there. 
Let me get you a better look at that. So right now I'm test fitting my bottoms on my cabinetry. These are sitting here like that and I'll secure those down. And then I'll also have to make a uh, side for this right here. And I'm also, here I'll show you up top. This is where my camp stove is going to go up here. So I'm test fitting this top for this. I'm getting ready to cut my Formica for my countertop here and it is about 29 and a quarter inches deep so what I plan to do is cut this at about 30 inches that way when I go to put the Formica on here I can take my router and flush cut to the countertop. So that's what I'm about to do now and uh, I'll show you that over here real quick. I got the Formica cut and I got my contact cement down. Now I'm ready to secure this to the countertop and I got the dowel rods in so I can push this down and work my way out to the sides. And when I get done, I will start putting the framing on. I've taken the router with the bevel bit and I have trimmed off the front of this countertop, but it won't reach all the way over into the corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Dremel and cut this over into the corner as close as I can and then just file and rasp the rest of that out.